So this exercise was taken from a Google interview at the beginning. I'm not sure if they still do it in an interview, but a lot of companies still use it in an interview. It's a very good way of knowing if you have basic logical thinking. And then I can do your, I can do another test. But this one takes no more than seven, eight minutes. So it's something that is super cool to test a developer's experience. So you should definitely master the FISBUS, the FISBUS because it will probably get asked in one of the interviews that you would be doing if you do a lot of interviews when becoming a developer. So basically how FISPUS works is that um, you have to look from one to a hundred, right? So the first thing that we do when we look is of course saying for I in range to a hundred. Okay, so from one to a hundred. And you can also say like I wanna I wanna range from from one to a hundred, like that, and it will be even more explicit. So now you're saying, let me let me just test this like that. You know, let's just put print i, and let's see what ha what happens. Like it will print from nine to ninety nine. You see? So that's one thing that I wanted to make sure. Like it's two ninety nine because these are the little things that happen in a fistfuls. Like you have to really be careful about your output. Okay, for multiples of three. Instead of the number, you want to print FISFUS, okay? So let's, say, let's do that, right? Let's say if I, to know if a number is multiple of three, all you have to do is divide it by three. I think it's percentage three is equal to zero because that gives you the reminder, the percentage. Instead of being a division like this, that it will give you the result of the division, it will give you the reminder. So only the leftovers, I guess, of the division. So if the reminder is like if it's if it's um, multiple of three, I want to print this. So print this. Is if it's divisible by uh, five, it says here. If it's divisible by five, print boss. So let's do the same, but boss. And then if, if it's both, so divisible by three and divisible by five, then I print both, right? So I print face boss. And here's uh, like one of the problems that that students get. Like if I don't put the else that maybe you thought about it, you know, you said, oh, but you have to put an else. Yeah, you have to, but if I put it like that, it will never print the FISPOS. Let me show you. We have an unexpected indent. Ah, it's this print here that in Python has to be in the next line, like that. Yeah. Okay, so it's compiled now should be showing it right now. Let's see. Okay, let's run it. Something is happening. Oh, it was doing it, but in the other one. Okay, it was doing it here. Look, I pressed the run button somewhere. Okay, so, so if I run this, it will, it will print one, two, fees for boss. So it's one, two, fees for boss. That's perfect. But when we reach to a number that is that is divisible by both. It should say like for example 15, 15 fees boss, but 15 as you can see it's 14 and then fees. It didn't say fees boss because it entered here because it's divisible by three, so it's okay. It will enter here and it will never enter into the into neither of the other else's because it was already this one was already true. So this question we have to ask first basically. We have to put it at the beginning this question and then we can do the else's. And if we do it like that, then 
here it is. You see, the face post now works. It's one, two, face four, fuzz, and then when we reach to fifteen, it's face post. And that's it. I mean, it's not a hard, it's not a hard exercise. What it is is, it's a exercise that you have to be very careful, and that's what, that's why it's so cool for an interview because you, you would be, you would have to pay attention, and a potential employer will, will see if you read the, the instructions properly, and you're not overconfident.